Hey guys, is this exciting? Oh, yeah. Yeah. All right, what a blessing. You know, I just want to uh, recount some of the miracles that God has worked. Um, I don't know how many of you know all the details behind how we got this bus. But you remember when we were on Cali tour and Jack broke down, right? And we didn't know whether or not Jack was ever going to come back to life. And within a half an hour after we found out that Jack was dead forever, I found this bus online. And you know, I've been hunting for buses for 25 years and I have never seen a bus like this uh, such a good deal as, as what uh, this was. So let me just give you a little context here. Um, so I found this bus online and within a half an hour of looking and I texted the guy and you know usually you text the owner and they get back to you maybe the next day. Within a half an hour this guy got back to me and he said you know the bus is still available and he told me about it and as he described it it sounded like a brand new bus. Now does this thing look like a brand new bus? <laughs> like totally right? And, and I'm thinking, no, you got to be kidding, like, not really, like, it just sounds too good to be true. Well, you know, it's interesting, um, as he, get, as he uh, explained the description of the bus, I'm just like, I've always dreamed about a bus like this, but I never thought that, that we could ever afford it. Because as I was looking online, to find a comparable bus, now this bus has 42,000 kilometers, and to find a comparable bus uh, to buy, would be about over $500,000. And we got this bus for one third of that price. Like that is totally unheard of. Now, the other miracle is that, you know, when I called him up, he said there were other interested buyers and he had to have the bus sold by the end of the year. And this was, what was it, December 15th, I think, that we first contacted him. And so he wanted the money for this bus within just a few days. And um, I'm like, okay, well, we don't really have the money, but I'm going to start working the lines and see if we can round it up. And so toward the end of that week, I called them back and I said, you know, I've got some of the money, but I don't have all of it yet. And so um, hopefully, you know, we'll be able to round the, the, the rest of it up in, in a few days. And he said, well, you know, I just want to let you know there's another interested buyer and he's, he's offered me the asking price. And he says he has financing, but he hasn't gotten me a down payment yet. And so he said, Who, you know, the first one that gets a down payment is the one that will get it. And, uh, you know, by Sunday, we had the, the money to get a down payment to him. And on Monday morning, we got him a down payment and we got the bus. And I, that was such a miracle because it was so close that we could have lost this bus. And so when I went to look at the bus, I thought, this is better than I thought. I mean, a 15-year-old bus, it looks like it just came off the showroom. It's just what a miracle it is. And then, you know, the last miracle. So... We bought two buses 12 years ago. It was Jack and Jill at that point. And um, we had to raise $180,000 and we did that in three months. That was an incredible miracle back then 12 years ago. Well, this bus, we, ne we needed to raise $160,000 for this bus. And guess how long it took? Two weeks. And when I, you know, it was like, when Palmer told me that we had already raised the money, I mean, we had just gotten done financing the thing and then we raised the money to pay it all off. That was one of the biggest blessings, one of the biggest miracles that I've ever seen at this school. And uh, I want to thank all of you for your prayers and support. And um, I look forward to seeing what God has for us because I don't think he wants to, to keep this thing parked in a garage for the next 11 months. He wants us to use it. And it's just going to be an exciting adventure to see what kind of ministry he wants us to have with it. Let's go outside and we're going to pray and thank the Lord for his many miracles. Okay, everyone, let's pray. Our Father in heaven, Lord, we come before you today in thanks. We thank you for preserving us when our bus broke down and bringing us home. But Lord, we thank you today for the blessing of this new bus that you provided for us. Father, we just can't thank you enough for going above and beyond our needs to provide in abundance the way you always do. And Lord, we want to ask today that you will put your special blessing on this bus, that the activities we do as a school, as we travel, as we go to other places, 
to share, to film, to minister in various ways, that your angels will always go with us, that you will not only preserve us and keep us safe, but Lord, that you will go to reach and touch others as we travel out to minister to them. And we thank you for the privilege of working with you. And we know, Father, that it is your will to bless this gift that you have given us. And so as we submit ourselves again to you, we thank you for answering this prayer. In Jesus' name, amen. As the Fountain View family, we just want to thank all those of you who supported us in getting this bus. We want you to know that by your donations, by your prayers, that you are a part of this miracle that God has provided for us. We are so excited to see what God is going to do through this gift and how he's also going to lead us in replacing our second bus. But we want to just really extend a warm, heartfelt thank you to all those of you who have given so that God could provide this miracle for us. Thank you.